In this video, I'm gonna show you how I make the ice globe on the Inkling and Octoling models. And I usually use uh, two methods, and I'm gonna show you the easy one first. We're gonna first go to the camera and turn down the tone map scale to make it darker. And then we're gonna create a new light. We're gonna decrease the field of view so it's quite narrow. And then bring it closer to the model and try to put it where the eye is. So we're gonna basically, we're basically gonna shine the light into the <laughs> eye, which would be a terrible idea in real life, but this is Source Filmmaker. So we're gonna decrease the intensity. We need to go a bit closer, up a bit. And now we can change the color to, well, let's go with green. And there you go, there you have your glow. We can, you can also go here and change the bloom scale. But if you're not going for that kind of glow, we can we can do something else, which I do most of the time. So what I usually do is let's turn up uh, the tone map scale; it's more pleasant. There we go. So what I do is I don't do anything in SFM, literally nothing. What I do is I edit in the glow. So let's just render this out so I can show you. So here I have the image, and as you can see, I am using Paint.net to, well, do this. And what we need to do is, I'm gonna use lasso select, and I'm gonna, okay, it's quite it's quite low resolution now because I rendered it out in 720p, but it doesn't matter. What we're gonna do is select the eye, and you want to be a bit outside, like, like that. And on the other one as well, just hold down control so you keep your old selection. There we go. And now we're gonna hit control C, to copy it, then make a new layer, and Control V to paste it. Then we're gonna go to Adjustments, and Brightness and Contrast. Then we're gonna, well, up the Brightness and Contrast. Something like that. Now it looks quite weird, but we're not done yet. So now, go to Adjustments again, and Hue and Saturation, because we lost some of its color. So bring it back, like that. And now we're gonna pick the eraser, and turn down the hardness, and up the brush width. So, and now we're gonna erase the edges, like this. There we go. Now they are kind of glowing, but we can do more. So, add a new layer, and pick a color that matches with the eyes, or you can customize it more. This should be fine. And then select the paintbrush, and change the brush width a bit bigger, like that. And then and then just left click once on each eye. Like that. And then go down to properties down here. And change the blend mode to additive or screen. And now the eyes are glowing in a different style, I guess you could say. So that is a simple version of uh, how I do eye glow. I usually tweak it here and there and, and do a little bit more, but it's uh, often not necessary to get the glow. So that's it for the video. So thanks so much for watching and bye!